Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Doing a problem in this IB Math book right here, section 12D, number 4B. And this is solving trig equations. So I have multiple arguments here, so I'm going to have to use trig identities and work with this equation to get a singular identity. Where I'm going to start is I'm going to subtract cosine of theta from both sides. That's going to give me 2 sine of theta is equal to negative cosine of theta. From there, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by cosine of theta. And I'm also going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. That's going to give me sine over cosine. That's tangent of theta, right? So that's a quotient identity. Sine over cosine is tangent. And then I divide both sides by 2 to get negative 1 half. So I have tangent of theta equals negative 1 half. That is saying the opposite is negative 1 when the adjacent is 2. So I have an opposite of negative 1 where the adjacent is 2. That could happen here where this is positive 1, this is negative 2. Or down in the fourth quadrant where opposite is negative 1, adjacent is 2. Use the Pythagorean theorem, 2 squared plus 1 squared is root 5. So it's not one of the triangles I know, so I'm going to have to use the calculator to solve that. In radian mode on my calculator, I'm going to go second tangent of negative 1 half, and I get negative 0.46. That's radian, so this is a reference of 0.46. So this is also a reference of 0.46. I need to know how far it is off of my x-axis. My domain is theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So my domain is radian. That's how I know I'm in radian. I'm going to do pi minus, pi minus 0.46 to get this angle here. Pi minus that 0.46 gives me 2.68. There's a solution inside of that domain. This reference angle is also 0.46. It is going to be 0.46 before 2 pi. So I'm going to go 2 pi minus 0.46, get 5.8, 5.82. And those are my two solutions within this domain. So again, a quick recap. I got multiple arguments, both sine and cosine. I'm going to bring cosine over here so I could divide both sides of the equation by cosine. So I get to a quotient identity, replace sine over cosine with tangent, then create my triangles in radian measure, find my reference angles. From those reference, find the angle off of x, and then the other angle off of x inside that domain. These are my approximate solutions in radian measure. All right, well, I hope that helped. Thank you.